So we go into lesson two of our teaching series on mass manners, lesson two. We have five lessons, so this is the second one. Last week, we talked about preparation, and then we ended that lesson right from when you enter into the church. So lesson two will be what happens once you enter into the church. So when you enter into the church, you will find out that we have some holy water fountains. It is expected that you sign yourself with the holy water, and that's just reminding you of your baptism in Christ, the first sacrament that made all of us Christians. And then, because this is a house of God, you are expected to bow or to genuflect. Not just genuflect into the house, but then to the tabernacle where we have the Holy Eucharist. So two options. Either you make a very low bow or you genuflect. So it is also advisable that you use your right knee to genuflect because it signifies something. So if you use your left knee, it is something else. If you use your right knee, it is something else. So in adoration, in reverence, you use the right knee to genuflect. But there will be always question about what of those who are left-handed or left-kneed? That is a different thing. God knows. But then it is expected that you use your right knee to genuflect. Now, because it is a house of God, not your own house, we all are children of God. But this is the house of God. So we are expected to behave in some certain manners before Mass begins. So coming in, as I said last week, 10, 15 minutes before Mass, what am I supposed to do? Come in, sign yourself with the holy water, genuflect or take a low bow and sit down. It is not a time for us to begin to converse. It is not a time for us to begin to exchange pleasant things. No. It is not the time for us to chat. No. It is the time for us to sit and recollect and prepare ourselves for the sacrifice of the Holy Mass that we are about to participate in. So that time is not a time for us to chat. It is not a time for us to talk. It is not a time for us to begin to converse, but a time for us to sit quietly and prepare ourselves to participate in the Holy sacrifice of the Mass. Sometimes we may see someone we have not seen for a long time, and we have the temptation to say, hi, or how are you? How has it been? Or someone who you have not seen for a long time, and you know that this person is coming back probably from the hospital, and this person has been sick for a long time, and then you have the temptation to say, hi, well, as I said, it is the house of God, and we are the children of God. If you have to do this, you have to do it very respectfully and in a very low tune, and let it not last for a long time. Outside the church, you can hug, you can embrace, you can shout, you can jump up, but inside the church, 
we are expected to behave in a certain manner. And remember that you may be saying hi to this person and some other person is quietly praying or meditating. So how do you balance that? It is expected that we all be quiet, silent, reflect, and prepare ourselves for the celebration that we are about to begin. And let's always remember that when we come to Mass, we have four things in mind. Four things in mind. We have come to adore God. We have come to give thanks to God. We have come to atone for our sins. And we have come to ask God for his favors. So the four ends of Mass are adoration, thanksgiving, atonement, and supplication. If we have this in mind, then we will be more prepared to participate in the sacrifice of Mass that we have come for. So that will be lesson two out of lesson five. We continue next week with our lessons. May God bless you, may God protect you, and may God keep you safe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.